Hi everyone, it's Tara. So today I wanted to share with you how I created these beaded leaf embellishments. Um, I showed some of these on my last video and I used them in a project. Um, so they're very easy to create and all you need is some pearls, some seed beads, and some wire. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, And you really don't need pearls either if you don't want to have pearls in them. Um, so when I first started creating these, I made them all into like leaf shapes like this. But you can very easily make them circular or um, oval shaped if you, if you want. And I have a bunch that I've made in different colors using different seed beads. So I will show you that at the end. But I really want to show you how, um, how easy this is to create. So... All you need is some seed beads of your choice, some wire. Um, I have used 20 gauge wire, but you can um, use 26 gauge wire, and this is just florist wire that I got from Joann's. It looks like this. It's about $1.99, and you get a ton, as you can see. Um, and then I like to use a little clip here, and that's just to um, clip onto the end of the, of the wire so the beads don't go flying around. So I usually just do something like that before I get started stringing the beads on. Okay, and um, so let's get started. Now for the sake of the video, I've already started one because I know you guys don't wanna sit here and watch me pick up a ton of seed beads. So I've already started one and um, the only thing you have to really decide is um, what your design is gonna be. So for this particular one, I'm making this spray to go with one of my um, I'm going to call it Urban Chic Flower here. And um, I made that flower using the tutorial from uh, Tutu Amy. And I'll do a separate video on all the flowers that I made um, like that. But for this, I wanted to make one more big spray to go onto this here. So like I was saying, you just have to decide how many pearls and how many uh, seed beads you want. So for this particular one, I used four seed beads and then added a pearl and I hope you can see that and so that was the design I came up with four seed beads one pearl until it was the uh, size that I wanted and then I stopped and then twisted it and then for this one I used five seed beads and then a pearl so for this last one here I wanted to be a little bit bigger so I did six so I did six six seed beads and a pearl so I'm almost done with this one and I'll just show you real quick um, how I string that together. And so you just get, you know, your seed beads. And I just dump a bunch out. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so now I'm on to the point where I need to add my pearl. So I'm just adding this pearl here. Uh, of course, I have butter fingers today. There we go. So add the pearl. And then I'm going to pick up six seed beads. So, and uh, like I said, you can use 20 gauge wire or 26 gauge wire. I found that with the 20 gauge wire, sometimes the seed beads, some of them don't want to go through. So it just takes a little bit of fiddling around with, um, um, with the seed beads, but the, the 20 gauge or the 26 gauge wire, it I never have a problem with that. So okay, there we go. At the end, so then I'm just going to take this little clip off and sort of hold the the bottom here, and then I like to hold the beads together, and then sort of wrap the one wire around. And then with my fingertip and my thumb, I sort of hold it together like that. And um, then I shape it the way that I want it. And I just do that so that the, um, I do that before I twist it, just to make sure that everything is aligned the way that I want it. Because you want to make sure that the beads are snug against each other and um, that looks pretty good so then I'm just going to twist and then sometimes I get my chain nose pliers and just twist 
you really don't need the chain nose pliers but sometimes it helps from your fingers hurting okay so that looks pretty good and then you can you know play with the shape a little bit more okay so then I'm gonna add this on to this spray here and see how I want this to go so all right so I'm gonna twist these two together first And then this last one, I'm just going to decide how I want it to go. So I can do it like in the middle. Or have that off to the side that way. And I think I like it like that. So I'm just going to twist that one around. And then it's done. So then that is going to look really cute underneath this flower here. Hope you can see behind that green. And um, so that's it. And then, so let me show you some of the other ones that I've done. Let me just move this stuff out the way real quick. Okay. So here's this one again. Hope you can maybe see it better. Yeah. really cute okay so then here's some of the variations that I've done so here's some in gold and I've used gold seed beads and ivory colored pearls and then showed you the white here's some in blue and then I use these seed beads here and then just some blue pearls I've done this one here. Let me zoom in. And this is using um, some silver seed beads like this. And then also these seed beads, which are just like a clear. So I made that. Um, I did some in purple. purple here with just some purple seed beads and that's these beads here I really like the ones that have the um, I guess it's like a silver finish in between them they just really sparkle really really nice so that's those um, I love these this style here and these are like a longer cut seed bead I don't know if you can see that You see how those are like a long cut? They sparkle really, really nice. So that one, and then here's the flower that I kind of made to go with that. Really cute. Okay, I did one like this, and this is just all seed beads. Those longer cut seed beads. No pearls. Looks really cute. Here's another one. I did the longer cut seed beads, and then just a little uh, silver seed bead in between. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's that one. Um, I did these. These are so pretty. Turquoise. That looks so pretty under, underneath that flower there. And so these um, first two up here are just seed beads, nothing else. And then the one in the back, I just used some little acrylic um, beads that I had to make that one. And then this one here is the longer cut seed beads. And the, the one on top is just all seed, be seed beads. And then this one here is a mix between seed beads and pearls. And I think that one looks really cute too. I need that flower. Uh, this one here is another all seed beads. And then I have just the silver seed beads in between. Really cute. Um, here's a black and white or black and pink one and this is all seed beads I just use black and the pink seed beads and this is for my pink urban chic flower 
need to make one more spray to go on this one. Uh, what else do I have? Okay, so I have pink. This is pink seed beads, pink pearls, and that would look really cute like that with that flower. Um, here's another one that I did, same way. Really cute. Um, I did some in black. And this is just black seed beads and black pearls. And then this is just a little funky flower, or a funky uh, pearl that I had. I thought that looked really cute. This one here is silver seed beads and some really tiny uh, white pearls. Really cute. I'm liking the more um, oval-shaped oval ones better. Um, when I first started, I did all... I think I said this before. I did all of them like in a leaf shape. And they're really cute like that, but I really like the the more circular ones now that I've been working on them for a while. So that's those there. Another turquoise set. Here's one in, and I just alternated the beads on this one. Different colors. So I mean you can make a variation of whatever you want. Um, here's the last little set here and this is just using these um, seed beads here. And again they're like that long cut uh, seed bead. Come on, focus. There we go. And I love these because they just give off such great sparkle. As you can see here. And this one is just using all seed beads. No pearls. Really cute. Doesn't that look cute underneath that flower? I mean, so pretty. And then this one here, I just use some of these acrylic beads there but again looks really cute underneath that flower so that's it you guys um i hope you give it a try these are so much fun to make i mean as you can see i've made a ton um very easy to do i mean it just it'll give your flowers just a little oomph underneath them i just love it so i hope you guys give it a try and um let me know what you think. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.